Hey guys, Wes here with Unlock River, and today we're doing something a little bit different than our usual videos. This is one of the coolest reviews you will see anywhere. We are drop testing the Samsung Galaxy S6. What you're going to see today is not your average drop test. We are dropping this Samsung from 900 feet with a drone. The Galaxy S6 seals in the battery and leaves out a micro SD card slot in an effort to keep the phone slimmer. But it is the durability of the phone that we want to focus on today. I've read that in drop tests using Gorilla Glass 4, the new material was about twice as likely to survive a one meter drop onto a rough surface than Gorilla Glass 3. In these drops, with the cover glass hitting face down right on the floor, Gorilla Glass 4 survived the fall up to 80% of the time. We are definitely going to test its limits hey. today, though. The Samsung S6 wrapped up quite nicely. Fully working. A little bit of duct tape, <laughs> a little bit of Velcro, and if you can see, it's still working perfectly. At first it was hard to find a mechanism that would allow our team of professionals to do a controlled drop from above 250 meters. We decided to use a hanger and tilted the drone forward to let it drop. For the record, the S6 that we're using is 100% new and it has never been used. We attached a GoPro to the quadcopter's upper shell and we used the 4K camera from the DJI Inspire 1 to record the release of the phone. Once we had the details worked out, the DJI Inspire 1, with the Galaxy S6 attached, began its ascent. Let's watch. Now, a quick word of warning to anyone thinking about trying something like this. Before we began, we worked up some simple physics to try and determine the drop area using wind and drop height. We had to find an empty lot with large open spaces and we warned people not to get close to the target area. Take note, because a phone dropping from that distance can seriously injure someone. Yeah, good. How high is it? 31 meters only. Holy shit. What are we looking at now? So how tough is this phone? A lot of people have said that the S6 feels much thinner than expected when they hold it in their hands. Can it really live up to its reputation of being strong and durable? Well, we're about to find out. It's completely gone. Can you see? Yes. You can't really see. Okay, it doesn't matter. You can see a little bit. Okay. Ready? Uh, it's ready to go. Okay, where is it? I'm scared, bro. Now, the quadcopter is in position and the phone is ready to be dropped. We're dropping the S6 from a distance of about 900 feet. Will it stand up to the test? You're yeah. about to find out. Here goes. Yeah. <sighs> I 
and we got it. It's not that bad. It's actually in pretty good shape. It works still. Oh, really? It works. I just heard it fucking... Is it working? Turn it's in. working. Look at this. I look just at, heard it. The back. the back is pretty fucked up. Can you remove the... Yeah. The back glass was completely destroyed and the front LCD display didn't respond as you would imagine after a fall of this magnitude. But you could probably get this phone repaired as the motherboard and the rest of the components surprisingly were not badly damaged. By comparison, the Samsung did much better than the iPhone 6 in its drop test. You can find that video on our YouTube channel as well as a drop test for the Nokia 3310. Take a look at those and let us know what you think. As always, we thank you for watching our videos here at Unlock River. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments section below what other types of videos you would like to see from us in the future. This is Wes from Unlock River and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.